If you want to know how to climb the absolutely stunning Saalberg Icefall uh, in Kaunertal in Western Austria, then stay tuned. And if you watch the video to the very end, I'll also reveal a few thoughts about Kaunertal in general. But before I explain how to climb this absolutely amazing ice climbing route, then remember to subscribe to the channel if you want to receive more videos about ice climbing, rock climbing and alpine climbing around Europe and gear vice. So the Saalbach Icefall is an absolutely stunning and scenic VI4 plus of four uh, pitches near the town of Feisten. It consists of two very long and near vertical ice falls and an amphitheater in the middle that splits the route into two sections. There's actually an extended version of the Saalbach ice fall that you can do if you want to walk up the snow gully at the end of the fourth pitch. Kaunertal is one of the many very beautiful valleys around Austria where you'll find a lot of excellent ice climbing. Some of the alternatives to Kaunertal might be Pitztal or Ötztal to the east. But let's jump into how to climb the Zalberg ice fall. Approaching the Zalberg ice fall will take you about 30 minutes. You should park your car at the small uh, parking lot just 300 meters north of the tiny village of Akutschen. And you can easily spot the Zahlberg Icefall from here. Just follow the trail that would lead directly to the Icefall for about 200 meters and you'll be at the base of the climb. And now gear up so you can start climbing. There's different ways that you can do uh, the Saalbach Icefall, but we did it in two very long pitches and then chose to walk up the amphitheater in the middle. So the first pitch is a steep and very sustained climb for about 35 meters. You'll find a bullet belay to the left when the ice climb starts easing out. And you should actually know that the Saalbach Icefall is one of the very few routes in the Kaunertal Valley that actually has a boulder delay. And that's definitely something to think about when you choose the amount of gear you want to bring. Especially for upside, because you'll probably have to do some balakos to get back down. We actually chose to skip the boulder belay and continue climbing further up to the left, where there'll be a tree that you can set up a belay from. but that will consume a complete 60 meter rope. And that's definitely something to be considerate about. So the second pitch would start from the bullet belay and go up through the amphitheater to the bottom of the second ice ball. As we chose to continue our climb to the tree instead, this was merely just a walk. The third pitch is absolutely amazing. You'll climb up this very steep ice fall that uh, narrows in uh, to an icy gully at the top. If you're on a 60 meter rope, you can climb the whole thing in one go and then set up a belay from some of the trees at the top. And if you don't want to climb another 60 meters, then you should set up a belay to the left after about 35 meters. So the fourth pitch is about uh, 25 meters 
uh, up uh, a slab and up through the gully. What you should be aware about though on the fourth pitch is that the ice could be quite thin. So bringing some of those really short ice screws um, would definitely be a benefit. But since we also chose to uh, combine the third and fourth pitch in one, uh, and I had already consumed my short ice screws at the bottom of the pitch, I had some pretty nasty run out. So once you're at the top, you could uh, decide to walk further up to that third section that I talked about. But since there had been a lot of snow when we visited Kaunertal, we decided to upside from here. So when you're ready to descend from the Zalbach Icefall, you simply just upsell back down. But be careful because there could be other teams below you. And if you decide to do that third section instead, then there'll actually be a trail that would lead you back down to the road. In terms of gear, bring 14 ice screws and at least 12 Alpine quick draws that you can extend because you need to remember that you have to use some additional ice screws to set up ice anchors if you choose to uh, do the third and fourth pitch in two separate pitches. And it's a very good idea to bring some short ice screws as well, like the 10 cm Black Diamond Express uh, for that narrow gully at the top. And also remember to bring some thread so you can do some abalicos. And finally, I would highly recommend bringing two 60 meter half ropes for the upside. And oh yeah, my thoughts about the countertile in general. It seems like a really quiet place and we actually only met one other team when we visited countertile in an extended weekend in February 2019. However, since it's not an overpopulated place, then you should definitely take the grades seriously. Compared to Konya or maybe Rüken, the routes are definitely not uh, hacked up here. And there's not that many bolts. Um, so if you're not comfortable setting up uh, a balakos or uh, making anchors directly in the ice, then this is probably not the place for you. So if you enjoyed watching this video, remember to uh, watch some of the other videos that I've done regarding ice climbing around the European Alps like checking out some of the videos that I've done from Alsa Badia in the uh, Italian Dolomites or Cogne. Either way, if you have any questions regarding how to ice climb Saalbach Icefall in Kaunertal in Austria, then leave a comment below.